What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am going to show y'all what you guys should be expecting inside of December, I believe. I believe December, what I'm about to show y'all will be open to the public, to the general public. Therefore, everybody that have an Xbox One will be able to get what I got early because, you know, I'm inside the preview program and, you know, you know, I know some people that know some people that know some people that knew this person that know that person that got me to this thing that's called the preview program. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, so about to give you a quick walkthrough and let's get started. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so you can clearly tell I was on Pandora. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the actual new dashboard. This is the entire thing right here. Well, part of it. And this is where you will sign in at. And once you let, let's sign in right now. Hey, don't be nosy looking at my password and stuff. Stop being nosy. All right, so right here, you can actually go, you can choose what players you want to see, your recent plays, your favorites, or just your friends. And your friends will actually be here, where you can actually just, you know, see if they're online, click on their name and stuff, having to go all the way to um, the, the Xbox dashboard and slash friends thing. You know what I'm talking about, those that don't have the updated thing. You can also start a party a lot more easier than what you used to have to. Um, I believe back in the, the day or currently for you all. Yeah, I believe currently for you all. <laughs> you actually had to go through like settings, which was hard to find. It took me like forever in a day to actually find settings. And once you find it, then from there you can do a lot of other stuff. But... In order to go to a party, you actually have to either go to settings, go to your friends, and then go to the party. But right here, you can actually just go to the party, create a party, or join a party. Your messages will pop up right here. Um, you will receive notifications right here. And then, you know, your settings is conveniently right here, which is what I love. I, I love the fact that they put this right here. Then also, your Snap thing, your, your Snapper app is, like, convenient as well. You can choose which one to open. And then, of course, you know, you already seen these things right here. I need to go ahead and get Star Wars Battlefront, babe. I have that for PlayStation 4 already. I need it for PS3. Um, and, yeah, your most recent apps will actually appear down here. And then the stuff that you actually own, like the different applications and stuff, will actually show up right here. Now, as you already know, you can actually... Um, you can actually play Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. As of right now, for those that start the preview program, you can't play every single Xbox 360 game. With they backward compatibility, you can play many of your Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. But by the time it comes out, you if you own a digital copy a of a game in the backward compatible games. catalog, it shows up automatically in the ready to install section on your Xbox One. You can also play backward compatible games you own on disc. Insert the disc and follow the prompt to install the game. The console begins downloading the game to your hard drive. After the game is finished downloading, keep the game disc in the drive to play. You'll see the Xbox 360 boot up animation take over the screen, but it's still running inside the Xbox One, so you can use both guides. I'll show some of that in a minute. If you have a game save stored in the cloud, it'll sync your save and your DLC and you can pick up where you left off. When you're playing, save your game often. If you open a full screen Xbox One app or game, you'll lose your unsaved progress. You can send messages and join parties with other Xbox 360 players by pressing the menu and view buttons on your controller at the same time to open the guide. In addition, since you're still on Xbox One, you can record game video clips and take screenshots. Double tap the Xbox button and choose an option to capture your game. 
The same double tap opens the Xbox One guide, where you can send party invites and messages to your Xbox One friends. So you can play multiplayer with your friends, no matter which console they're on. Find a list of games in the backward compatible catalog on Xbox.com. And vote for Xbox 360 games you want to play using the Xbox Feedback website. Well, there y'all have it. I know what you're thinking. Yes, and I agree. I am amazing. And that was also good as well. But anyway, so boy, he said everything for you. You can play Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. Um, like I said, they don't have a lot of Xbox 360 games, or at least good games. Yeah, they they slowly building it up like Gears of War, Halos. We waiting for them to put Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That's what we want. At least that's what most of us want. We want them to make Black Ops 2 um, backwards compatible, which would be amazing. Um, and then your community. This is what your friends post. And this is also the thing that you can post as well. So you know they can like it and they can comment on it. Just like it's literally just like the whole um, dashboard and stuff. It's separate from your friends list. Then the one guy showed you like different things, what's new. I actually have things like movies and channels categorized based off the popularity. Oh my gosh, I love this show. Oh my gosh, this movie was terrible. But yeah, so they have stuff like that. And it's basically like Netflix, except it's not Netflix. It's not. This is actually a pretty good show. Alright, and then your video games as well. Your games, they are separate from your applications, which, you know, you can still download. I believe that they added more applications as well. You have your movies and TV that you can actually watch. Oh my gosh, this show is like, this show right here is amazing. If you have not seen American Horror Story, you should watch it. I'm not sure what you're doing with your life, but obviously you're doing something wrong. Dragon Ball Z. I need to watch the movie. And then uh, as well, for those that just love music, you have Kids Bob 30, right here. Yep, sync that in. And they just take all oh, your favorite songs and, well, you know, they 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 put their own twist to it. Anyway, but yeah, so this is basically the dashboard. Um, comment below what you think that they should improve on. Tell me what you like about it. Honestly, I personally think that they did a pretty good job. And for those PBS kids, look at that. Isn't that something? You know, I'm okay with this, actually. If they have Dragon Tales on here, I'm okay with that. Dragon Tales is amazing. Funimation, okay. But, yeah, like I said, if y'all have, um, if y'all have any questions about this, then let me know. Um, tell me what y'all thought about the video. Tell me if y'all like it, if y'all like what y'all see so far, or what y'all want them to add on there. You know, just you let me know, okay? Let me help you, which is also helping me, which is somehow helping you, which is also still conveniently helping me. You get it? Yeah, you get it. All right. Um, what, what else was I going to tell you? I forgot what I was going to tell you. Anyway. Well, I was going to tell you, just, just know that you missed out on a great conversation that I apparently going to have to myself after I end this video and remember what I was going to talk about. Um, the settings area, I remember what I was going to talk about now, but let me tell you about the settings area. hope I don't forget about everything else. This is the new settings area. It looks, it looks cool. Yeah. Everything is neatly organized. For those that have OCD, you can actually find something right away and it actually caters to, you know, the things that you're looking for. Oh yeah, I forgot, it also speaks to you. You can zoom in on different things and this tells you how. And I can also, you know, talk to you. In this case, I guess you can't read or, not saying that you can't read, <laughs> of course not. But in this case, you can't read or you can't see that well then they will read it to you. So that's another neat thing I found interesting about the new update. 
Also, for those that I invited to the preview program, for those that I promised I will invite but have not yet invited, um, I'm not sure if the ones that I'm going to invite soon realize the fact that once you get invited, there's no guarantee that you will actually be a member of the preview program. And the reason why is because Xbox received an overwhelming amount of um, requests to join and because of it they have slowed down if not stopped the um, stopped the the process of new people therefore you, you may get in you may not if you got in or if you do get in then you know congrats good job keep up the great work i am proud of you and if you have not gotten in and if you will not begin again then I will try my best to act like I'm not enjoying it, even though I'm clearly enjoying it. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Take it easy, stay greasy, have a wonderful life, and a wonderful time. I will talk to you.